Hello everybody, welcome to Era BB last day of the season. We've got Jedi Bear with his Chaos Dwarves versus Tapioca King with his Orcs. Um, pretty nice Orc team, loads of guard, mighty blow, bit of stand firm, a piling on guy. The Chorfs actually aren't that, aren't that good as a team. They've got some guards, they've got some mighties, they do have the claw mighty with horns. A lot is going to hinge on him having a good game. And uh, they've also got, to be fair, they've got a great ball carrier. Um, in terms of the league table, I think Jetty Bear's quite high up, and I think Tapioca's quite low down. So I feel like Tapioca has to win this game to have a chance. That might, uh, you know, change how he plays a little bit. I think Jetty Bear can probably have a good chance of qualifying with a draw. Hard to say, of course. I don't know when this game was played or the actual state of the league table. So, you know, fantastic commentary, as always. Um, you know, something's going to happen. I already dislike this because I would be hitting this guy with Mighty Blow. <laughs> I would have 100% just been hitting this guy with Mighty Blow. Well, with piling on, in fact. Um, this is the play you want to hit. Um, coming in this way you do get a bit more disruption I guess trying to uh, you know the destabilization phase but I think if the ball's that far back and you're that slow slow orcs just get a big big hit on this guy if you can see what happens Baza got sidetracked and forgot yeah that's the problem isn't it if you've only got one person um, on that where it doesn't you know doesn't really matter does it <laughs> no offense to people who love uh, minor tournaments on fumble but it doesn't really matter gets the pow only a stun but not bad gonna cage this guy of course he's not gonna let you know this is why I would have gone for him on the blitz like he, he likes him that much he's caging him I guess yeah he, there's no need to even hit him with a pom either because like he's got two dirty players so pomming's pretty dangerous you want to try and pick off the the hobos before you pile on too too much I guess you would pile on an injury right just because this guy's really really good but uh right, puts in another assist these are black orcs. That also makes it harder that they are they are still black orcs in Blood Bowl Two and Biggins in Blood Bowl Three. It makes it very hard to remember to call them Biggins in Blood Bowl Three. But there you go. Nothing. That's a power sets up another hit. It's funny, Blood Bowl 3, Blood Bowl 2 does look a bit old-fashioned and stuff, doesn't it? It looks better here, actually. The, the blue's making it look worse. I'm getting a bit depressed looking at it because up here is blue, but down here it's not so blue. The uh, Jedi Bear has got the Magic Dome, and I hate how it looks. I absolutely hate how it looks. That gets him a bit more equity versus me because I'll be a little bit tilted having to play on such an ugly pitch. Yeah, 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 I realised that after I said, why don't I like the look of Blood Bowl 2 as much? If I've been playing too much Blood Bowl 3, but yeah, it's the magic dome. It's, it's terrible. That's the thing, like, you know, people are like saying, oh, you're acting like Blood Bowl, 3, Blood Bowl 2 was perfect. And it's like, oh my god, you agreed at it because it stand firm. Obviously, you want to get stuck on him, and then he fails. Wow. So, this is a push into one, two, three, four, GFI, GFI. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, okay, no, he's just not going for it at all. Splitting this guy. Uh, I would have quite liked to have seen a 2D on the ball. But never mind. We didn't bother with that. We just, uh, we just blitzed a hobble. Yep. Um, no, so, not everyone. Some people are acting like that. Some, uh, yeah. Sorry, yeah. So some people are saying like, "Oh, you're acting like Blood Bowl 2. But no, nobody's acting like Blood Bowl Two was great. Blood Bowl Two had lots of problems, and it's just Blood Bowl Three is, you know, yeah. 
got a lot of problems. Yeah, I quite liked, you know, trying to get some, but something, trying to get 2D. Even a 1D, I think, is fine, right? But I would have tried to go for the ball here. Um, I think I would have done. I think it's worth trying to go for the ball. Even, like, blitzing with this guy and getting, like, two players on the ball or something, like... Because I think he probably has to win Tapioca. I think Tapioca probably has to win. So I think... Based on, like, you know, the... Tables, I think he has to win. Oh, I almost forgot about stadiums. Yeah, do you do you have an improved stadium? I improved my stadium rapidly because none of my players were getting hurt, and then obviously they all got hurt at the wrong time. <laughs> they all got hurt at the wrong time, right at the end of the season. So, yeah. I'm a little bit sad to be honest. Huge foul, because he's got guard on the ball. And he casts him. Outrageous. Yeah, you might you probably don't then, Elgard. <laughs> you probably don't. We can still get 2D on the ball here. Um So the way to do it would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, GFI, GFI. Uh oh, this guy got knocked over. Okay. We'll disregard then. This guy can come in for a 1D anyway. This guy can come in for a 1D on the ball. Hmm. Might be worth it. I'm not going for the ball. I'm going for a chorf. It's not the worst, right, trying to get attrition and stuff, but... Again, I think, I think the Tapio needs the win. This is the problem. So I think he has to be trying harder to get it. Because this is looking very drawy, right? Like he's not getting in the way of the score. He's not. He's not really. Like he's punching. I think it's fine for an, better for an earlier season game, right? Where you're, you're ensuring the... Like, well, not ensuring, but... If you're happy with a draw, this plays a lot better. This plays a lot better if you're happy with a draw. I just don't think that he is happy with the draw. It's hard and it's hard to know because obviously like the unless you're completely cutting edge with the results and uh, casting them live and looking at the live tables and everything, it's really hard to know the exact situations of everything. And, Unfortunately, Blood Bowl not being the most exciting game to watch in real time. Um, you know, watching two people think for an hour and a half. Um, <laughs> it's not always great to cast live, so that's a bit of a problem. Annoying that this guy stand firm, you, you know, could have used him all sorts of ways to uh, chain people on if he's uh, if he had been. Not something. Oh, nice stun. So now he can swarm everybody back. If he can knock this guy over. <laughs> well, now he's not even going back too much. Gets the pal. Gets the stun. But he's taking himself out. And he's getting out of the way and not going into the way. So he has officially given up on this drive completely. Um, so he's, I guess he's going to try and get the draw and hope that's enough. Like, I'm, I'm sure it could be if other results go his way. Actually, I'm not sure it could be. Maybe I can reverse engineer what the table looked like from how it looks now. And then work out if he was happy with the draw. 
no, I, he shouldn't have been happy with the draw. No, he had to. He had to get the win. Realistically, he had to get the win here. And Jeddy was safe, whatever happened. So, yeah, I, I really think he had to be more aggressive here, going after the ball. This is not good enough. This is relegating you to a draw. At best. So I think this was like fundamental strategical error here from uh, Tapioca. I guess like the the four people who don't make the main playoffs go to the school cup, right? So there is an argument for keeping his players alive for that. If you think that your outside chance of qualifying isn't very high. But mostly, um, I would care more about getting to the playoffs and stuff and I would be sacrificing players to uh, to try and get the result here, I think. It's interesting, like this, the last week or two, I think, is the point where if players die, they die, you've got to get the results. And obviously the playoffs, the result is all that matters because the teams are dead after that. So when it comes to the uh, playoffs, I guess there's still the idea of tournament equity and it's not worth it's not worth losing your chance to win the tournament to win the game but obviously so much of your tournament is wrapped up in the game that you're playing <laughs> you probably should sacrifice almost everything to win each game in the playoffs These guys are too far away to even foul him as well. Tragedy. Doesn't control him, so he gets a 2D. Oh, he's coming in for the foul! Oh, that's pretty bad, isn't it, Tapioca? Letting a 2 assist foul on your, on your Pommer in a situation where you've given up on the drive <laughs> and like you're only playing for damage I guess maybe it, maybe it was a plan to get a hit on the dirty player <laughs> maybe it's all all as planned That guy could have fouled as well. I guess it's not worth fouling his dirty play. It's a Kaz. Worked out perfectly for Tapioca. <laughs> Genius play. I'm not sure he should have dodged there. Because he could have just put another Black Orc in and then get scary from the block, right? With. Uh, And not for other people, but for me it is. <laughs> so yeah. A draw here would leave Tapioca on 12 points, which is possible. Possible. Is it? No, it's not possible. No. No, a draw is no good here. He has to win. So he has to go crazy in the second half. Man, I hate that there's no QA to, to rotate the camera. So he just has to go balls to the wall in the second half with Orcs <laughs> if he wants to qualify for the playoffs 
Like, he could just be happy with the... I think it's the Skull Cup or something. Is the uh, secondary one. It's funny, because I remember when that came out in Rebel and I thought it was, like, the craziest thing ever. But then, when you think about it, you know, with the playoffs in Rebel, that was, like, six or seven weeks. Where people just had to sit and wait. Most people just had to sit and wait for six or seven weeks, which is... Pretty terrible, isn't it? it? Kills, kills engagement with the league and stuff. So, you know, obviously, Aero BB have had the same kind of problem. That like, you know, people don't just want to sit and wait for five weeks or whatever. So get a second, second cup in and get more people doing post, post season shenanigans. Does nothing. Does he come in and foul here or not? Right, so he's got to open himself up to bull plays, probably. He's got a score in like four turns, realistically. Three turns might be too difficult. But it's probably better because he needs the turns to turn him over. But, you know, should have just played harder defense in the first half. Should have taken those 1D shots on the ball, I think. Knowing that you have to win. Like, going for those players increased your losing chances, but also increased your winning chances. Yep, Tapioca needs a win, and Jedi is almost certainly secure. I don't want to say he's 100% secure, but... He's almost. The reason that he's almost secure is because PK is playing Elliot. <laughs> um, but he's almost secure. There's like look, there's there's some kind of weird situation where loads of people end up on fifteen. So if Jedi loses, it could be bad. But because he's scored, it's hard for him to lose. Basically, Jedi needs to draw. But a loss is probably good for him. And Tapio needs to win 100%. 100%. This is a brutal kick. So what he wants to do is probably... Uh, rather than moving these guys, what he wanted was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. He probably wanted like this guy 1 square forward, right? So he could uh, move up 6 hand off to him and then get him forward, something like that. Yeah, there were some good gym blocks there from uh, Tapio. <laughs> there you go, Jedi teaching him how to roll block dice there. <laughs> Instant cars. Just uh, steaming in with strength three, but he does have guard, doesn't he? So it's not as it's not as horrific as it first appears. <laughs> Just standing loads of strength three players in. Interesting. Hobbles in.
So you probably want to not fight on the LOS. You probably want to abandon the LOS there. Blitz this guy, block this guy, and have like a pocket up here. Dub skulls. <laughs> Yeah, sure hands is less valuable. I mean, that that's his backup sure hands, right? This is his. Uh, this is his real one. Ah, uh, it was, but he won in nine. So um. So now it's none. <laughs> now it's none. Wow, hitting with a ball. Kind of hate that, honestly. I kind of hate that because even if like this guy's going to do the blitz and stuff, I'd still like to just break tackle off and have some support. Yeah, because like, he could have hit him up, right? And then this guy could have just come down and picked it up, maybe. Yeah, sure, Hans is doing a great job here. Oh, Tapio's got a... Babe and a wizard? Hasn't even got a... a babe and a... Babe and an apple didn't even take a wizard. This is very... Okay, he's good. He's just completely good. Okay. There was an error of giving up before this, I think, just taking the inducements and the way you approach the first half. Um, you know, if you, if you have to win the game, you have to play hard defense there. You can't just let him through and, and you know, go for the 1-1 one, one draw. If you want to win, you have to try to win. <laughs> oh dear, Chum. Uh, I don't. I'll say read the rules and then it will be obvious. Oh, is the Shuhans going to score? Three... Four, five, six. He could just uh, pick it up GFI or he could get SPP on the bull. He's not too far away with a bull, actually. He's also not too far away with backup sure hands. Wow. He put in the reroll. <laughs> he put in the reroll on the smack. Flip me. I'd have definitely uh, pulled this guy back to here again rather than just you not. Know, like, maybe they're talking and like uh, Tapio's like, I'm fucking done with this shit. Oh, fails the. I think it was a GFI to score though, right? Three, four, five, six. So I'd have definitely kept my reroll and tried to score this half and then go for the 3 0. Like, go turn up and try for the 3 0. Nah, would I have tried for a GFI? Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe I wouldn't have. I'll have a look, Chum. I'll have a look after this. Oof. Infinite ammo. Good name. Like obviously I can't look right now. Blitz is over here, greeds it. Kazas. We had two Kaz. But I mean he's he's definitely hundred percent given up on the game. Doesn't even stand this guy. If only like the skip turns worked 
in Blood Bowl 2. Like, the replay is way better in Blood Bowl 3. Gotta give that to Blood Bowl 3. The, the replay in Blood Bowl 3 is way better. Interesting little follow. Uh, can you go come back and scream the claw, mate? Vampire can score. Oh, he's on 72. Oh, he's going to pass. <laughs> oh, I'm dazed. Yeah, okay, so I didn't look at the SPP. So, yeah, obviously, I wouldn't have never even picked up this guy then, I guess. Just stay back and then, yeah, go for the completion and then a touchdown on him. That's way better. It's absolutely way better, isn't it? The completion and then the touchdown on him. Hand it back off to him. Yeah, but... Yeah, I miss the SPP and the Vampire. Yeah, it's, it's way better the Vampire getting, fat, getting four, isn't it? Like, fuck this guy. You're in complete dominance. This this full centre could have come back. You could have twisted your whole line around here as Jedi and just tried to get everything in there. You want to get everything in there to completely isolate his team and then and then dick around getting a completion and a touchdown <laughs> on him. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Oh. Oh, I don't like this. I'd have definitely just blocked with a with a sure hands and then he would have blitzed and scored. Because if you power him you can blitz the guy who's marking you, right? And I know it's a blockless it's a blockless block, but that's one in nine to the one in six dodge. But it all worked anyway. So that is two nil up. And that is Jedi Bear, 100% confirmed for the playoffs. The top three were already finalised before this week. It is Elliot, myself and Danton are the top three. Very likely to be in that order as well. And then uh, now with this win, Jedi Bear has completely um, confirmed his playoff pay place. And with this loss... Tapioca King has completely <sighs> Want me to ban you, Jay Bazaar? <laughs> did you Did you not miss the week afterwards, Jay Bazaar? Did you not miss did you not miss last week's did you miss like two weeks ago's game? I I was joking about banning you, but uh I was joking. Oh, <laughs> Dimmy's done. <laughs> I was just joking. Um, my my team died, Jay Bazza. My team died. Both witches died. Not last. It was the week before. Both witch elves died, and then the the week after, the replacement witch elf died. So I've had three dead witch elves in two in two weeks. Loads of loads of AV downs. Another another guy got niggled. The team just got destroyed, and like, you know, it's 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 kind of not that bad, right? And at the end of the day, I've had a I've had a good team for thirty games, and I had a lot of fun having a good team for thirty games. But it's just my luck that when you have to play thirty three games <laughs> on the thirty first game, my team gets shattered. <laughs> <laughs> so you know there's no time to rebuild or anything and now my team is fucked for the playoffs but uh yeah it was just, just joking i was just joking I, you know, I don't care or anything it was just i was just trying to be funny um i kind of cared at the time obviously because i i should have just run away and, and taken the loss um or a draw and it wouldn't have mattered either, you know? Like, I should have just run away. I should have just run away. But instead, I tried to hit his tackle pommer with my strength for witch, and uh, it was really stupid. Hey! <laughs> there you go, Jay Barza.
I killed lots of cats in Hogwarts, and like, look, like, you know, like, I dominated this league, right, because I'd got so many SPPs, so I had loads of easy games, so it's not as if, like, not having the team before was bad or anything, or whatever. Um, and it's just like, it's just annoying, isn't it, to lose it right at the death like that. You know, being the favourite for the league and then having your team dismantled is a bit sad. But you know, other people got it, like Squiggy got his team dismantled in week one of the season. <laughs> you know, he had this game but in week one of the season, so his just whole season was a waste of time. He just literally, you know, ten, ten games that were just a waste of his time. So, you know, it, it could have definitely been a lot worse than what it was. <laughs> it could have been a lot worse than what it was. Oh, wow. If Jedi Bear gets lucky here, he can score on his, on his vampire and level him up completion. And level him. Oh man, one, two, three, four, five, six. A GFI. And he can level him again. Imagine if he gets imagine if he gets dodge. Four. Yeah, it, it's annoying at the time. Like it, it was annoying at the time. Especially it was my fault, you know, like I'd spent so many games not trying my hardest to win, you know, and protecting my team and doing stupid vanity passes and everything. And then, you know, not my only lapse, I'd, I'd lapsed a few times, but to then lapse and have your favourite player, the best player on the team, the best player in the league, to have that player die due to, like, carelessness slash stupidity, whatever you want to call it, did feel pretty bad. But you know, it's not the end of the world, is it? It's not act doesn't actually matter at all. <laughs> you know, winning winning era BB or doing terribly in era BB is pretty much the exact same thing. It doesn't really matter at all. But I do like winning. <laughs> and I don't like losing. <laughs> so I would have rather kept my favourite player. I mean, this game ended a few turns ago. There we go. So, great result for Jedi. Not only confirms his place, also levels his super hobo. I actually really like seeing the scoring animations and the cheerleaders. Even though the cheerleaders are rubbish and it's a bit stupid and pointless. Like, at least you get the idea that there's a touchdown has happened, right? <laughs> <laughs> At least you get the feeling that a touchdown has happened, whereas in Blood Bowl 3, you're just like, what was that? So, I don't care at all. Um, so there you go, 3-0. Great result for Jedi. Terrible result for, <laughs> for Tapioca. Commiserations to him. Congrats to Jedi. Uh, qualifies for the playoffs. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.